Today I'm standing in front of the Wisconsin State Treasury Vault door. Although no longer in use, it serves as a reminder of our fiscal responsibilities to the people of Wisconsin. Over the past eight years, legislative Republicans and Governor Walker turned a $3.6 billion budget deficit into a $585 million surplus, while providing $8 billion in tax relief since 2011. That's why Assembly Republicans approved a $340 million tax cut for the middle class. The Republicans' tax relief plan targets middle class individuals making less than $100,000 and families making less than $150,000. Now, Governor Evers supports a so-called middle-class tax cut, but it's not really a tax cut. It's a spending bill. Total taxes won't go down a penny. Governor Evers wants additional taxes on farmers and manufacturers to pay for his tax cut. This would be disastrous for the hard-working families and farms in Woodville, Buchanan, and Stockbridge, and manufacturers in places like Kimberly, Combined Locks, and Brilliant. They'd all see their taxes go up, and we just can't afford that. So right now, the state has a huge surplus, and we're going to return it to you, the hardworking taxpayers in the middle class. Please join me in urging the Wisconsin State Senate and Governor Evers to pass this much-needed relief for hardworking Wisconsinites. It's your money. You should keep it.